Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 18. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is uh, we are going to be doing the tour of Europe. And we are going to be taking this, the KTM crossbow. And one thing I want to do, I want to change the colour. Because I don't... I mean, the white's alright. But I prefer something different, like racing green or something like that. That sublime looks really nice. Are there any metallic colours? See, metallic's not doesn't sell it for me in this game too much. Go for that. Sublime Green. Oh, look at that. That looks sick now. I'm actually looking forward to drive this. Obviously, it is a rear-wheel drive race car, pretty much. And obviously, because it's from Austria, it is a European car. And that is literally the only basis that this uh, thing... So, obviously, we're starting off with Brands Hatch, going to Spa, and then the Ascari track, which I haven't driven the Ascari track yet, so this is that's going to be fun. Um, but, yeah, it literally just needs to be a European car. The RCZ is on this. Interesting. Um, so, we need to make sure it's 540 or less. It was actually 544 performance points. Um, but I've put in a performance limiter to 96%, so uh, that brings it down to 539 performance points. Um, but that is all that we need. We've got two TTs. We've got a Clio V6, a Z4, Alfa Romeo Brera. Very nice. Some good cars. And here we go. KTM Crossbow. And obviously, this is a bonnet camera rather than a roof camera because there is no roof to this car. Okay, so the car's got a little bit more grip than I was expected. Awesome. I don't know what camera view will be best. Because obviously we got this camera view. Which is alright. Why is it the... Oh yeah, we got the real camera view, haven't we? Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going back to here. This is my camera view. I, I don't know why I love this camera view so much. It just They just get the perfect angle that makes it... I mean, we are very low right now, so... A little bit more difficult to see where we're going. But that is not a problem for me. All I'm trying to do is actually get around this track. Um, and overtake the rest of the cars. But once I've overtaken them... Shouldn't have it. Oh! What are you doing here then, still? Oh! Yeah, right in my blind spot there. Little bit of drifting going on there. Nice. Come on. Very nice. The car grips through these corners so well. Now that we have no cars in front of us as well, we can properly test out how well this goes. Nice. It's 
speed is very good through here. Definitely a cheeky corner cut there. We're going to have a couple of those today, though. Oh, here we go. Come on. Perfect. Go, go, go. Is the daylight changing? I can't actually tell if the daylight cycle is changing or not. No, it's not. It's just as we went around that corner, everything seemed to change. This car is so grippy, it like pulls into the corner too quick. And I've obviously got a very aggressive driving style. So we sort of have to ease it a bit more like this. There we go. I don't like this easing in method. I'm not used to it. I'm a very aggressive driver in racing games. Perfect. Nice. Right, we are coming up to the start finish line for the final lap of Brands Hatch. I hope no one actually watches this. Like, genuinely, <laughs> I've picked the wrong car. I can't afford to pick another car because otherwise then I won't be able to afford the uh, later championships. I really have picked the wrong car. But it's getting the job done. At least the guys at KTM know how to make a car. The tyres haven't even started to like heat up. They're still like... They're at optimal temperature. In the past, we've... In, um... What was it? The last episode. The Mitsubishi, the tyres were getting to hot. Not quite overheating. Oh but get into hot. Here we go, nice. And onto the brakes, around this final corner. And I feel like this one, because we got round in one piece, needs a victory drift. There we go. And all four tyres overheated then. Lovely. Lovely. Obviously, the Brera is in last place. Wasn't expecting anything different from that car. Here we go. 28,000 credits. Very good. Three stars. And on to the next race. Let's find out what it is. Because again, I can't remember. Let's see. Oh, Spa. Circuit de Spa Franc on Charm. That's a good track. Let's go. It's a four and a half mile track. Which is crazy how long this racetrack is. Like, the area this track must take up is massive. Look. It's huge. Huge. 
Right, let's do this. Crossbow time. Got a Renault McGann there. What are you doing? The McGann's trying to crash me out. Definitely not cheating there. Here we go. Lotus Elise up in front. Oh! It was like a BMW X5 or something. Absolutely massive thing. Big Chungus. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Why is it European cars are so slow on main straights? Ah! I crashed into an Evora now. I think I've crashed into like every single car on the pack so far. That time he crashed into me, that was not my fault. Do not blame me for that. Imagine if there was like contact penalties. I can't see how wide this car is. Apparently it's much wider than I thought. Which kind of makes sense because there is like wheels going out to the side as well. Is this technically an open wheel car? Go on. There we go. Nice. Right, let's go round. Let's go around here. Perfect. Nice. Right, I feel like we can go back to our... Actually, I might stick with this camera angle for a bit. See how well this goes. Wish me luck. Whoa! The hand movement, though, for changing gears... Look at this. Up, to the side, into third, straight down, fourth. Up to the side, into fifth. That is sick. I mean, it's kind of mandatory in a realistic game to have that. But like, that is still pretty cool. You can't deny that. Not even Codemasters has that. Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. You had plenty of time to slow down. Right, the car's pretty close to my inside there. Right, we're far enough ahead that we won't crash into him. Oh, good, 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 nice. This race is going to take about eight minutes. Hopefully the Ascari track's going to be a little bit more fun than this. Because Ascaris are quite lightweight cars. And they are very lightweight. So I would expect the Ascari track to be built so that light cars could drive it. If that makes any sense whatsoever. And if I can't drive around the Ascari track, wow, big oof, I guess. Look at that suspension though, working right in front.
Why are there six gears but you can barely get into six gear? Might as well just have five. This is upgraded as well, so this should easily get into sixth gear. Awesome. Right, let's try and take this corner without spinning out. Perfect. Come on. Looking very good for speed there. 144 miles an hour. Perfect. Nice. Right. Very good, very good. Oh. Tires are crying out for help right now. There we go. Very good corner there. Perfect. And onto the brakes, onto the brakes. Quick, quick. Probably could have gone even later than that, actually. Awesome. And across the line. 2 minutes 34.4. First place. 7 minutes 57 seconds. Total time. Awesome. What is the next? Uh, the next track is the Ascari track. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm not looking forward to it at the same time. Because I know how much of a nightmare it looks. There are some tight looking corners on it. Like, look at that. There's a little, tiny little nook there. That just looks so difficult and it's only three miles which means there's no not many straights that might be in our favor who knows tour of europe race number three ten point one miles total distance we're going against an esprit and a spree SL500. These are all crap cars compared to a KTM Crossbow. Jeez, okay. Here we go. KTM Crossbow. Let's do this. Right, how's this track going to feel? That seems like a really dodgy corner. Oh, but a nice corner there. That's a good corner. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. There are a lot of corners, though. Right, how fast can we take this corner? 
uh, with throttle management very quick, actually. Oh, I'm loving this track now. Look at this. It just seemed like a very weird track. It's not very race tracky. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't have red curbs. I think it could do with red curbs. Nice. Right, this is the what looked to be like an absolute nightmare. Oh, and it pretty much is, but you can just go in a straight line across that. Well, that makes life easier. That's an easy section there as well. There are so many corners. Wow. How many corners does this track actually have? Like, genuinely, that's a lot of corners. That's definitely not how you're supposed to take that corner. Right, let's get past this spree that's in first. Come on, come on. Perfect. Goodbye. Nice. Very good. This track's very good for small, slow cars. Uh, small, slow, but lightweight, should I say. Which slow and lightweight is like... These aren't even slow. Here we go. Here's the uh, funny bit. Oi! There we go. If you're about to crash, just go way, and you won't crash. Mandatory. Or just hold the brake till you stop. That's another way of doing it. Very nice. Big brain. <laughs> Just complete disregard of the corner there. Just it, it did not exist. Oh, 
Perfect. Got about a minute left of this race. Awesome. Go, get round. Whoa. Whoa. Perfect. Let's go, let's see. Give me a 214, please. No. 216.4, I'll take that. That's an entire second faster than the time before. That is the European tour done though. And there's 31,000 credits. Awesome. And three stars. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.